Joining me this morning, 1045theteam.com, Garrett Whitley, Niski Unit Baseball Standout, projected MLB first round draft pick. Garrett, how are you? Thanks for being with us. I'm good, Brady. How are you? Good. Garrett, before we talk about the draft and what's coming next, let's talk about right now. Sectional pairings came out yesterday. Your Niski Unit Silver Warriors in the play in game this afternoon against Albany. Winner takes on Shen. How has this year been for you, and what are you expecting today? Uh, it's been an up and down year. You know, we've we've had to deal with a lot of adversity as a team. Um, guys not being there for one reason or another. Um, well, there's a lot of seniors too. So we finally have everybody back now, and we're we're playing well as a team. We played a great game on Friday against Burnt Hills, and uh, I'm thinking we're going to continue that today and hopefully for the next few weeks. Has it been a difficult year for you to navigate between seeing scouts in the stands to? not getting a lot to hit? Has it been fun? Has it been difficult? Has it been hard to handle from the team's perspective with kind of all you, all the demands that have been placed on you? What's it been like? Well, I mean, baseball is always fun. Um, it, the scouts, is, that's something new. And after the first game or two, like, kind of got used to it. And then you don't really notice them anymore. You know, I just go out and I do my thing and play with my team. And I, I, like, my teammates thought it was cool, too. You know, them getting to play in front of everybody. Well, after the first couple of games, everybody really got used to it, and, and we were just out there playing. Um, in regard to getting pitched to and that sort of thing, that is a little frustrating, but I, I understand it, and I expect myself to even hit the pitches that aren't exactly perfect pitches to hit. So. Have you thought about what the next month is going to be like, really the next three weeks? The MLB draft starts June 8th. Have you thought about what it's going to be like going from – from playing in Section 2 to, to being picked in probably, in all likelihood, the first round and, and having millions of dollars potentially thrown at you? Yeah, it's going to be a big change. Um, but uh, it's really exciting. And you know, being now only three weeks away from the draft, I'm, um, I'm really looking forward to it. But you know, right now I'm still trying to – I've been thinking about it now because we're so close, but I'm still trying to focus on my high school season because we're still playing, and that's what's important right now. I've seen you everywhere in projections from the overall first pick in the draft to 13th to 20th. Do you pay attention to any of that stuff? And and if you don't pay attention to it, I'm sure it's been told to you that Baseball Prospectus had you as the number one pick in their mock draft. How unreal is that to think about? It's pretty unreal, yeah. I, I don't uh, pay a whole lot of attention to those mock drafts, but like you said, a lot of my friends, they'll see them and, and they'll tell me, like, hey, man, like, Baseball Prospectus has you – as the first overall pick, and, and it's crazy because if you had told me this a year uh, a year ago, I wouldn't have believed you at all. Um, so much has changed, and I mean, it's just been a great ride, and I'm looking forward to, to keeping up. You're committed to Wake Forest already. Justin Yurchak of Shen is another player tearing it up for the Demon Deacons right now. Is there a certain point in the draft or a certain dollar amount or a certain team or anything that's going to influence your decision whether to go to college or go pro? Uh, well, that's something that my family and I need to talk about. We've talked about it a bit, um, but there's nothing concrete right now. As you head into next year, no matter where it is, what do you think the biggest strength you have as a player is, and what's the biggest thing you want to improve on? I'd say my biggest strengths are uh, my speed and power. And, you know, that combination is not something that you see all the time, and it's something I'm very proud of, you know, being able to hit a ball a mile, but also being able to steal bases and cover ground in the outfield. Uh, the biggest thing I need to work on, I'd say, is my arm strength and then some just technical things, uh, mechanically, you know, getting better jumps and and doing some of those things that I haven't had that upper level of coaching just yet. But once I, I feel like once I get that coaching and once I get on a long toss program, those things will get better. And, uh, well, those will definitely be things that I focus on. Is there a player right now that you compare yourself to or – that you want to, uh, you know, you aspire to be like as you move through your career? Uh, well, I kind of like to compare myself to Mike Trout, not just because he's the best player in baseball, but I see a lot of things between us that are similar. You know, he's a, from New Jersey, Northeast guy. He's a big, big dude who runs fast and hits for power, plays center field, covers a lot of ground. Uh, and that's the type of player that I think I can be, and that's the type of player that I aspire to be. You've been all around the you know, the, the the summer baseball circuit, the prospects, showcases, things like that. And, and look, I'm a baseball guy, and I, I know it as well as you do, that the Northeast often gets snubbed when it comes to national perspective. 
but you just mentioned my Mike Trout, who is a Northeast guy. You've got you know Matt Harvey from the pitching side of things, who's a Connecticut guy. Are you starting to see more and more scouts and more and more colleges open up to Northeast players? I really think so. I do. I mean, granted, I, my perspective is smaller than a lot of other people who might be around the country more and seeing all these types of players and stuff. But just going from what I saw this this past summer playing on the Northeast team at East Coast Pro and at Area Codes, we had a lot of really good players. And we went out there and we competed with those guys from Florida and from Texas every tournament. And I'd say there were, I mean, there were 100% there were guys on our team who were just as good, if not better, than the guys from down south. And I'm sure that the scouts and the colleges recognize that. And you know, I'm hoping that, that they get over that northern prejudice too because we got some good ball players up here. It's been exciting locally the last handful of years as a number of local guys have gotten drafted or gone on to marquee colleges. You look in pro ball now, there's there's eight to ten guys that are really doing well in pro ball. Last year, Jeff Hoffman of Shaker was drafted ninth overall. You've got Brandon Cogswell, J.P. Sportsman, J.P. Sportman, Jamie Schultz from, from Maple Hill, who's killing it right now in double A. Have you thought about how cool it is to, to whether you go to college or go pro right away or not, just to be in that fraternity of, of Capital Region ball players? It's really cool. There's not a lot of guys there. Um, I mean, hopefully, like, like you said, there'll be a, a lot more coming down the line. I'd love to see that. Uh, but, no, it, it's really cool to be with those guys. Those are the guys who, growing up around here, those are the guys who I always heard about uh, playing real well. And, um, and now to be kind of be one of those guys is very that's really cool. Garrett Whitley, Niski, you in a baseball standout, projected MLB first round draft pick. Garrett, good luck today against Albany and sectionals. And we'll be talking to you again before the draft. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.